I am surrounded by snakes and morons. You got a haircut. Yeah. I hate it. You look like, you know, an actual human person. You look tired and your face is giving me a headache. This is friends only. Mm. Mm, shouldn't it be empty then? You have to excuse my brother. He's adjusting to his medication right now. Off they all go again. Marching off to daddy. I have you beat, you morons. I'm not being horrible. I'm being fun. Well, you are a weak monarch in a dangerous no, interregnum, no. and I think you need to reconsider. This is something that Dad would have done, and oh, you know Oh, well, it. maybe, but you're not your dad. I think he'd be embarrassed if he saw you two now. His two big boys playing Scooby-Doo's. Boys, you're not good at this. You probably have quite uh, an undereducated palate, so let's go out, and I'll teach you, and I'll show you how to be rich. You're not good enough for me. Oh, right. I just don't think I want to deal with you, Shiv. Uh, what's the conf lab? Boomers versus Zoomers? <laughs> well, your mom loves me more than she loves you because she's cracked. You all wedgied up because Rhea stood on your back and worked your arms like an elliptical? You're the newest attraction at the zoo. Half man, half Nobel Prize. Sure, Shiv. You got me. Who's the scorpion? <laughs> um, you, I guess. Nice vest, Wamsgans. It's so puffy. Thank you, Roman. Was it stuffed with your hopes and dreams? What were you doing? Brunching with some other sock puppet girl boss presidents. You tell yourself you're a good person, but you're not a good person. You're needy love sponges. You're a clumsy interloper and no one trusts you. The only guy pulling for you is dead. And now you're just married to the ex-boss's daughter and she doesn't even like you. Careful who you hit your wagon to, honey, because a lot of wagons are going in the ditch. Right, thanks, honey. You can't make a Tomlet without breaking some Greg's. You sent the same email to him 67 times in one evening. I guess it was a joke. <laughs>